a cyber dopamine. So I got Bazite to run on the Xbox Ally X and it had some problems at first, but the Bazite team in one day fixed most of the bugs to where we now have this seamless Steam Deck like experience running on this handheld. The performance is insane. I'll show you here in a sec, but there's other things that Linux has to offer that can make the Ally X an absolute beast of a handheld. And if I want to play Battlefield 6 with Kenneth and the boys, I can switch between SteamOS and Windows whenever I want. So I have that Windows accessibility and the Steam Deck-like convenience. The first thing I want to mention about putting Linux on this Xbox Ally is I would classify it, and I think most, most of us would classify a good handheld as something like a book, right? A book you know, you can take that thing anywhere you go. You don't have to worry about battery. And when you open the pages, the words are crystal clear. But most important of all, this is Ruby and she wants to go potty and I'm playing Hogwarts Legacy. All I do is I press this button, boom, I go take her potty. And right when I come back, I press the button again and I'm exactly where I left off in just seconds, right? So going in in out of your game is super freaking fast whereas on windows when i want to take ruby potty i have to press it and i've got to give it a couple seconds because the cooling it's still running pretty quick you know and then finally it turns off i take her potty i come back i turn it back on and i've got to wait another 15 ish seconds and i have to log back in with this log screen and sometimes the game controller support stops working. Sometimes it just crashes. You know how it goes, right? And the biggest thing is it's a handheld, right? It's all about playing conveniently. And so this is extremely important. Just like a book, you open and you close, you open, you close, you open, you close. You have a bookmark so you never get lost. That's what I mean. So aside from the sleep stuff, we all get it if you're familiar with handhelds. So... I ran some uh, frame rate tests to see what the performance is like when you, with Bazite compared to Windows straight out the box. And there's some freaky crazy numbers in here. But before I show you numbers, I want to give a shout out to Charge. They hooked it up. Shout out to Charge. Their stuff is freaking sick. I've been using their Shargeek 170 and it's been insane for traveling or being on the go for both my handhelds and my phone. With the total of 24,000 milliamps in these batteries, I'm able to power my Steam Deck or ROG Ally for extended periods without worrying about running out of juice. I can easily charge my phone and laptop simultaneously with two USB-C ports and a USB-A port, so there's plenty of connectivity for all my devices. The output hits up to 170 watts, so even high-power devices charge at full speed. So yes, the ROG Ally X will have 30 watt turbo mode. When the power bank itself runs low, it charges back super fast. So up to 140 watts in, that's zero to 50% in about 20 minutes. So it's perfect for like quick little refill pit stops. What really sets it off is the design. Transparent freaking prism cyberpunk look, plus a smart display. So you actually see what's going on with the charge. And it's airline safe, water resistant, and even has a low current mode for earbuds and watches. Basically, it's just the one power bank that keeps all my handhelds, all my computer stuff, everything alive when I'm on the move. I've put the link in the description below. Check out their stuff. They have crazy accessories and I love these things. I freaking love them. Um, but thank you, Charge. Thank you. Okay, ready? Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Such a good beautiful game if you really want to get lost to sink hours into something 17 watts okay on windows we were getting about an average of 47 frames per second and then all of a sudden i boot into steam os and with the exact same settings at 17 watts we're getting 62 frames per second and it's telling us we've got this much more battery left how freaking cool. We've, we're getting almost 11 to 12 to 13 more frames per second on Bazite compared to Windows. Also, you guys don't have to sub if you don't want to sub, but if it's your vibe, it's your freaking vibe. But uh, And then I've set it to 13 watts. 13 watts is if you really want to conserve energy. And Windows is at 35 frames per second. Steam is at 37. Not a big deal for this time of year. This game is amazing. 
Hogwarts Legacy at 17 watts, which is performance mode. Windows is getting 50 frames per second and Steam is getting 62 frames per second. Okay, exact same everything. 35 watts. Windows is getting 60 frames per second and Steam is getting 65. And then if you do 13 watt, it's the same thing, right? 38 on Windows, 37 on Steam. So you can see there's at that 17 watt, that middle point, there's a big difference in performance. And keep in mind, guys, I'm not the Fox. I'm not ETA Prime. I'm not the best at the freaking benchmark crap. This is just me showing you what I've experienced. Another huge thing I'll mention when it comes to their performance, there, when you're on Windows, like your frame rate will go from 47 to like 58 and then it'll jump back down to 52 and then go down to 39. It like goes up, dun, dun, dun. you know, you look around, you look behind you and also it goes back down and comes back up. With SteamOS, with Bazite, it is literally just like a, a straight line, right? So that I'll tell you that I'm noticing much more stability with the performance on Bazite compared to Windows. I'm not kidding you. I was on a call with Antheus. Antheus is one of the boys that puts Bazite together, fixes things. He's done a lot for Bazite. And literally, we just sat there on FaceTime and I would start doing things. We'd find bugs and then he'd instantly start typing in code, doing this and that, pulling this from here, pulling da da da, swapping this. And he would fix it, push out an update. We would update it and then boom, the problem would be solved and we'd find another bug. So, now what you have is literally an almost perfect functioning version of Bazite. Um, the LED lights, that still has to be fixed and probably is going to be fixed by the time this video is uploaded, to be honest. Um, we're they're still trying to figure out what to do with the buttons up here. And you can do your TDP slider. You can change this, the wattage. All of it is just working really well. There's nothing I can do on Windows, right? Like, you know how this goes. You have the compatibility. If you want to mod your games, you know, you, you can do it all. Play your Xbox Game Pass games, your Epic games. But then again, you know, I'm like, all right, this is a handheld at the end of the day. I want to take it with me places. I have to go to, to the airport tomorrow. Um, I'm going back into SteamOS. So all you do is you just power it on press the volume up button, and then boom, you can choose Fedora, boom, right? And now I have this beautiful handheld experience. It's like a Switch, it's like an Xbox, it's like a Steam Deck. Another thing I'll, I'll mention real quick is after installing Bazite onto this handheld, with the controllers and everything, like with the, the form factor, man, this, this handheld is so cozy. It just, it, it hits different because of the form factor. Like, like Hogwarts Legacy, man, I was just tucked in my bed, like super nestled up. There were, you know, the leaves are, the fall leaves are changing outside, but like was just running so smooth with Hogwarts Legacy on Bazite. But yeah, ba I know it was a quick one. It's a rusty video. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys it freaking rips on the ally.